Hey, it's Dan, and in this video we're going to replace the headlight light bulb on this Yamaha TW200. This job's about a 1 out of 5 for difficulty. It should only take you a couple of minutes. You need a Phillips blade screwdriver and a 10mm socket or box wrench. We'll start by removing the plastic cover. This is a Phillips blade screw. And with this screw out, you're going to be able to pull the cover off. And now that the cover is off, we'll use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts that hold the headlight assembly in place. And then repeat on the other side. and unplug the electrical connection. And now that we have the headlight assembly out of the bike, the light bulb itself is removed from the back end. So the first thing we'll do is remove this rubber boot. This guy just pulls right out. And the light bulb is held in place by this mount what you need to do is rotate it counterclockwise to release the bulb. Okay, so here's my brand new HS1 light bulb. We'll slide it in place, make sure that you align the three posts. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. And next up, we're gonna reinstall this ring. Make sure that you align it with the posts and then rotate it clockwise. And next up, we'll reinstall the rubber boot. Make sure that you pay attention to the orientation here. There is a right side up and a wrong side up. The bottom is gonna have a little hole in it to allow the water to drain out. The top actually has a top embossed on top of it. The bottom of the headlight assembly is gonna have this tab, so that's how you know what's what. And just slide it back on. And next up, we'll reconnect the electrical connection. and mount the bottom of the bracket right onto the stub here. Now the one thing to pay attention to is make sure that the bottom bracket on the headlight assembly slides onto the bracket on a bike, just like that. And we'll reinsert our screw. So always start these by hand. Snug it up. and do the same on the right side. Now let's do a quick test just to make sure it works. Low beams on and high beams on. And finally, we'll reinstall the cover. You're gonna latch these hooks first onto the rubber grommets on the bike and then reattach the screw. Always start it by hand to make sure you don't cross thread it. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.